information on the Manhattan Project. We will be covering the history, statistics, and the dropping of the three atomic bombs during World War II. Hi, my name is Emma Kaiser. I'm Caitlin Fincher. And I'm Katie Woodsman. We'll be interviewing Harry Truman and Leslie Brooks. Both interviews took place in 1945. These interviews were recorded in secret offices in Manhattan, New York. We were interviewing Harry Truman because he was an important part of the Manhattan Project. He was sworn into secrecy about the idea when he became president. And we are interviewing Leslie Rose because he was the lead scientist and inventor of the atomic bombs. The video that is now going to be shown is a scene from the dropping of the first atomic bomb. Enjoy. releasing untold quantities of energy. Have you ever heard of Leslie Groves? Well, if you haven't, you're going to learn a little bit about him in this next interview. Hi, Leslie. Thanks for coming. Do you mind if we ask a few questions? It's my pleasure. I'm glad I can make it. Go ahead and definitely ask a few questions. Leslie, when did you come to become commander of the project? September 19, 1942. How many scientists helped you with the building process? 100,000 to 130,000 at one point in time. Did you build anything besides the bombs? Actually, yes. I built the Pentagon and thousands of military installations. What were some of the major locations you used to build the bombs? We used more than 20 different locations, and the biggest site we used was called Clinton Engineer Works. The code name for Clinton Engineer Works was Site X, and the purpose was to produce uranium for the atomic bomb. Why was the project named the Manhattan Project? Because the main offices for the project were located in Manhattan, New York. How hot did the bomb hit the ground? Well, it heated the ground to around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. How big was the cloud from the explosion? What kind of cloud was it? Well, I can't tell exactly how big the cloud was, but it rose about 5,000 feet a minute, so it had to be fairly high. And the cloud formed was called a mushroom cloud. Being a scientist, did you know that the heat of the core of the bomb when it was dropped? When the bomb dropped, the heat of the core was around 60 million degrees. Did the bomb create a crater when it exploded on the ground? Yes, it created a very large crater. In fact, it was 1,200 feet wide and 25 feet deep. And for our last question of the day, how bright and powerful was the explosion? It was brighter than the sun and could be seen from 180 miles away. And the bomb was so powerful, it destroyed windows and homes from 120 miles away. Thanks for your time, Leslie. We definitely learned a lot. Of course. It's my pleasure to be here. Now I'm going to share with you a commercial about the impact and aftermath of the atomic bomb. Have you ever thought about how much an atomic bomb can impact your country? thousand people were severely injured in the first few seconds of the Manhattan Project's first bomb. The bomb was around 60 million degrees when it hit the ground. 
It was said that the explosion was brighter than the sun and could be seen from over 180 miles away. The bomb was equal to 22,000 pounds of explosives. American school children practiced an atomic bomb drill, which was ducking at a desk and covering themselves with a sweater. It was called the ducking cover strategy. The forces of the bomb destroyed windows and homes 120 miles away, and any person within those 120 miles was lucky to be alive. Japan then surrendered, and America won the war.